Manchester United are back in Premier League action on Saturday only three days after our 41 win at CSKA Moscow in the Champions League midweek. Jose Mourinho has been critical of the FA of the short turnaround having represented the Premier League very well in Europe on Wednesday. Not only do we have players lacking rest for midweek, but also our injury list is stacking up. The boss was speaking at his pre-match press conference ahead of the visit of Crystal Palace tomorrow, giving the media a team news and injury update earlier today. Mourinho confirmed that both Phil Jones and Michael Carrick will miss this weekend's game through injury. Both were left at home during the week, and neither have recovered in time to face Crystal Palace. The Portuguese manager told MUTV they are out. They were out and tomorrow some will be out. What I'm saying is that from all the injuries we had, I hope that I can have some players available for tomorrow. We have to train and make decisions after training today, he continued. But I hope some of the players that couldn't play in Moscow can recover. Jose Mourinho also reaffirmed that Paul Pogba, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Marcos Rojo will not be in action tomorrow he is injured. He cannot play tomorrow, and it's not an injury that I can have the hope like I can have with Jones or Antonio Valencia. With them, I have the hope to see them training and to have a positive answer. For long-term injuries, I don't speak about them, so Ibra, Pogba, Rojo and these players, I don't think about them. One positive piece of news is that Antonio Valencia could be back in action to start at right back we have to train, but, maybe, yes. Marcus Rashford is set to start on the left wing once again as Anthony Marshall picked up an injury versus CSKA Moscow that rules him out of this weekend's game. The 21-year-old has been left out of France's upcoming World Cup qualifiers as a result. Marao Fellaini remains a doubt meaning that Nemanja Matic and Ander Herrera are likely to be out central midfield partnership and 20-year-old Scott McTominay on the substitutes bench once again.